So hi everybody. Um, this little video is to show you how to assemble the Calimero frame. Uh, I had a few questions on how to uh, put which parts in which direction. So I'll just quickly show you how to, to put this frame together. Um, it's actually quite simple if you have everything that's required. So first of all, what do you need? Um, of course you need the 3D printed parts. So the frame, the battery pad, the canopy, and this little um, plate that goes between the crazy V board and the Cadex camera. So in terms of electronics, you need this Cadex Turtle V2 and you need your regular toothpick electronics. Um, so what I have here, these are already wired up. Um, it, that's the easiest way to build the frame if you um, remove the electronics from another toothpick frame and uh, just insert them like this. So what we have here is the AMAX 1103 7500 kV motors. We have the Crazy B F4 Pro board. It's one with the integrated receiver, but I uh, prefer using this FreeSky RXSR. XT30 plug and a little um, low ESR capacitor. This is a 10 volt, 1000 microfarad capacitor. So other stuff you need electrical tape and M2 screws. So you need these M2 by seven screws for mounting the motors because the frame is a little bit thicker than a carbon frame. Um, but the nice thing is these often come with all these micro props. So these are the regular screws you use to fix the props on the motors. Uh, so you probably have a bunch of those if you're building micros. Um, apart from this, you only need those M2 by 12 screws, uh, six of them exactly. And uh, the little rubber hardware that comes with the crazy bee. So first things first, um, you take the frame and what you do to prepare it is you enter the uh, M2 by 12 screws and one of the M2 by seven here in the rear. So you can orient yourself here uh, at the little slot for the SD card. So on this side here, you put the, the shorter screw uh, because the next step is to insert this uh, board for the Cadex. So this is actually quite simple. Orient yourself on the little slots that the frame has so you can access everything that's important. Uh, you see the SD card slot is here. There's the slot. There's the smaller slot for the little button here to start recording. Um, I recommend that you put your camera, there's a setting for it to put it in on auto uh, record so it records automatically as soon as you uh, you plug in a battery. Um, that's much simpler than pushing the button, that's super annoying and sometimes you forget to push it. Uh, and even with this slot it's a little bit hard to reach because it's such a tiny, tiny, tiny button here. So you put this on here with, I mean, this is Everything here is, a, I mean, this is super tight build, so everything is a little bit difficult from time to time. So try to align this nicely here. And then, as you can see that it's a pretty thick board, but it goes nicely inside the frame. So that's the nice thing about the printed, printed frame. Um, that the board actually sits nice and low and keeps the center of gravity low and doesn't um, make you stack up the whole electronics. So as you can see, this is nicely aligned. The SD card goes here. I can access my little button. Um, here I have the wires to wire up. So wiring up the Cadex board, um, I won't do it now just not to make this uh, video super long by doing all the soldering stuff, but this here goes directly um, to the 2S battery power line. Uh, the the board takes the the two S. This is for the for the video signal. So this goes to your flight controller, 
this goes where you would usually plug in uh, the video signal of your camera. As you can see, the camera is plugged here to the board, video signal goes through, goes in your FC here. And this little thing is um, to use the little joystick play to control the camera and, and uh, adjust all your settings. So that's step one. Uh, step two, uh, easiest way in my opinion is to just put first the camera inside the canopy and then stuff all the electronics in. So this is all super tiny. Let me just quickly put that camera in. No, not quite. So now as the camera is in there, the next step is basically to try to put um, the VTX. The, I have a TBS Unify Nano and the RXSR here inside of the of the canopy. There's enough room for both of them. As you can see, this is there's quite a lot of space here. Um, the only thing that you shouldn't forget is to use this electrical tape. Or some of the um, of the shrink wrap, but I prefer just using this electrical tape because it's just easier to remove to uh, protect your components here, like this receiver, uh, so that they, they don't touch the circuits and shortcut themselves. So let me just take a little piece of electrical tape to wrap it around. TBS VTX. So always I link um, all those components in the video description. So linear antenna, if you use a bit of force, you can push it here right through the little hole. Like this. Same for the receiver, make sure the antennas are facing out. And now this is, this is a little bit where you maybe need a few tries to get everything nice aligned so that the cables aren't the mess. But basically what you try to do is have the board, and this is the other way around, have the board aligned in a way so basically you need, the, you need the USB in the back I'm all kind of struggling now and here we go so I hope you can still see this this is the annoying part like this so as you can see the camera is up front um, USB is on the is below in the back. Um, the USB isn't really accessible. Um, there's just no way to make it accessible because the the CADEX board is in the way. Um, so make sure you have set up everything and don't need to access this because you will need to kind of disassemble um, assemble this disassemble this to uh, to access the USB. I have a new um, Design for the upcoming um, Cadex Tarzir 4K camera where you will be able to access um, the USB, but on this one it's not possible yet. Um, so, if you have roughly aligned this, all your components are inside. The next thing you need is the. This looks like a mess, but uh, you need this little TPU part here. This is what goes between the Crazy B that has 25.5 um, millimeter mounts and the 20 by 20 is here of the uh, of the Cadex camera. So what you want to do now is get this here on top with these little rubber things in between. So the easiest way is just to push these screws through that. Put 
put the little rubber parts on it. So let me quickly do that with all three of them. So what I have now is uh, this little thing prepared with the rubber mount for the crazy bee. So now I can take my crazy bee that I have more or less put in the right place. Like this, make sure the motors go in the right direction. And then I can Mount this here. Put the first screw inside. Second one, and there we go. One up front. Okay, so now it looks good. So we have the VTX in place, the receiver is inside, the camera is inside, although it's kind of moving. I think these screws are a little bit too short I have to replace them. Um, and we have the little adapter plate right here, USB on the back side facing down. The motors are looking out here in the right direction. So now we can combine the two halves of the frame, or oh, one thing I forgot. Um, this is a, there's a little smaller rubber part of the mount that comes with the Caddx. So for this one, you, you take one of the M2 by sevens, put it on there, and this goes here on the rear part, where you don't have a mount from the adapter, so you fix it here so that all four holes are used on the crazy bee. Like this. Now that didn't really work as it's supposed, so insert the rubber part, insert the screw. Here we go. Now oh, it looks good. Here this holds up well. Everything is nice and protected inside. And now all we need to do, I mean, apart from that I didn't wire this up, of course you'll need to wire this up, um, is take this in the right direction. So um, as you remember, there's one of these screws is a little bit shorter. That's the, um, the seven millimeter M2 by seven. Um, that's here in the back. This one needs to be facing backwards. And then you can simply try to put them together. This is, you might need a few attempts until everything is nice in place. So you're basically just sticking one to another. And then you can use your screws to tighten it. This is how this whole thing comes together.
So, here we go. Um, as you can see, now everything sits nicely. The USB is in the back. Everything is accessible. The canopy sits on top of the Cadex turtle board. Now, all we need to do is wire up these motors, clean this all up, arrange all these cables here. You probably also need to find a cleaner way to fix these uh, cables of the receiver, the antennas. Um, that's basically it. How to mount the little Kelly Mero frame. Um, I won't bother now to mount all these motors, that's just gonna make the video boring. Um, so if you have any additional questions, uh, leave a comment down below. I know this video might be a little bit difficult to follow because everything is super tiny, it's hard to get it in focus and on camera. Uh, but I hope I gave you a good impression how to do it. Um, as I said, if you have any further question, please leave a comment down below and thanks for watching.